1951, a black woman walked into Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore with severe pain. Her name was Henrietta Lacks. Doctors found she had an aggressive form of cervical cancer. During her treatment, without her knowledge, they took a small sample of her tumor. What happened next was something no one had ever seen before. Normally, human cells die after a few divisions. They hit a biological clock. Tiny caps on chromosomes called telomeres get shorter and the cells stop growing. But Henrietta's cancer cells didn't follow the rules. Her tumor carried HPV DNA, a virus that disrupted the normal death cycle of her cells. On top of that, her cells had activated telomerase, the enzyme that rebuilds telomeres. Together, this perfect storm of mutations made her cells immortal. For the first time in history, human cells kept dividing outside the body endlessly. Scientists named them HeLa cells, after Henrietta Lacks. Those cells went on to change the world. They helped develop the polio vaccine, cancer treatments, the HPV vaccine, AIDS research, even space science. But while her cells lived on in labs across the globe, Henrietta never knew. She died in 1951, only 31 years old, her family unaware that part of her was still alive in every major lab on Earth. Henrietta Lacks is the only human known to naturally produce immortal cells. Her body created something no one else's ever has, cells that never die. And today, the legacy of those cells is written into nearly every major medical breakthrough of the last 70 years.